Hello, my name is Kun Peng and I'm from the Hybrid Body Lab at Cornell University. Today, I'm delighted to introduce our project, Delocalizing Strain in Interconnected Joints of On-Skin Interfaces. On-Skin Interfaces, often in the form of smarter tools or bandages, are a form of verbal computing that directly contact the skin to detect physiological signals and assess a person's activities. However, one of the key obstacles to the scalable and robust fabrication of on-skin interfaces is the durability of the transition area with interconnection joints between the rigid electronic components and the soft on-skin substrate. Our research builds upon related work in three areas. Several attempts have developed on-skin interfaces in soft, stretchable form that can adhere seamlessly to the skin. Previous research has explored film-based approaches with thin silicon or conductive film layered on top of each other, and emerging alternative approaches that take advantage of yarn level structures morphine produced in constructed textiles can easily conform to body contours. In particular, weaving, which we adopt in this work, presents a rich platform for versatile circuit topographies and affords scalable manufacturing, providing unique benefits over film-based approaches. Weaving's unique structure of intersecting yarns offers easy incorporation of delicate electronic components and thin materials, as well as diverse trace routing. In our project, Interconnect refers to the actual joint making a mechanical and electrical bond to interlock components. Integration of rigid electronics into soft interfaces has been examined in the form of garment integrated and on-skin interface systems. Garment integration incorporates PCBs with discrete components into fabrics via stitching, sewing, soldering, and non-conductive adhesive under pressure. Studies have identified that the transition areas between rigid electronics and textiles are typically subjected to higher stress. Efforts of accommodating high mechanical stress to improve the stability of interconnects include the use of a stabilizer or interposer, as well as manipulating the geometry and material of the traces. Interconnection for on-skin interfaces are typically Im implemented with makeshift temporary wires or attached via Z-tape or conductive fabric tape. Well, previous works report that areas most prone to breakage are the interconnect joints between the rigid PCBs and the soft on-skin traces. To date, no research has centered on characterizing the design of interconnect for improved durability, which this work aims to contribute. In this paper, we present a systematic study evaluating the durability and reliability of five interconnection designs for on-skin systems under tensile and bending tests, as well as design guidelines on PCB interconnects. We explore different weaving techniques, path shapes, sizes of PCBs, techniques for handling and mounting the PCB components onto the on-skin substrate, and circuit design features to maximize the durability of the interconnections. The design goals of our implementation include mass producibility, seamless integration of technology, and durability and long-term usability. To fabricate the on-skin interface, we extend the weaving techniques explored in the relative works and develop a woven on-skin substrate with embedded conductive materials. The substrate is made of silk yarns in plain weave. We use copper wires as a conductive material and adopted a serpentine pattern to allow more flexibility and stretchability. The main goal of designing the circuit layout for PCBs was to distribute the interconnection joint stress in the surrounding areas within the on-skin system. By adjusting the shapes and sizes of the PCBs, we designed and fabricated flexible circuit boards with three different layouts, minimal, elongated, and extended, with pads on the top surface. For the minimal design, we also built and tested flex PCBs with pads on the bottom surface, as well as a rigid PCB. The groups of four pads on each end were connected to the i 2 c bus of an IMU, as well as an LED power indicator. Then, the PCBs were integrated onto the woven on-skin substrate for boards with pads on top, the copper wires go through the non-conductive holes from the bottom and were then soldered onto the pads using a soldering iron. For boards with pads on the bottom, we use an additional layer of flex PCB with only conductive pads on top as an interposer. To test the interconnect under stretching, the minimal design for the rigid and flexible PCB were tested using an instrument machine. In addition, to simulate the repeated bending occurring at high flexion regions such as the wrist, we built a bending machine that bends the sample from opposite sides. For both tests, the IMU readings were constantly monitored, and the eight interconnects were checked with a multimeter. As the serpentine pattern of copper wires distributed the strain, both the rigid and flexible PCBs remained functional after the tensile test with a maximum 24% stretching. 
The interconnects on the flex PCBs were more durable to bending than rigid boards, but internal trace breakages were observed. Both the elongated and extended flex PCBs performed slightly better than the minimal design in the bending test. The interposing two-layer flex PCB was more bend resistant than a rigid board and had fewer internal breakages than other flex PCB designs due to the increased thickness. For both the rigid and flexible PCBs, wires broke at the surface of the solder joints or adjacent to the interconnects, which is consistent with previous studies. The manual fabrication of weaving, soldering, and the refill process may introduce minor variables that can affect the durability performance. Thorough exploration can be achieved with the mass production of more configurations of interconnect design, along with repeated, fully automatic testing procedures to allow more design parameters to be examined. Lastly, based on our experiment result, we provide us a set of recommendations for PCB design for on skin interfaces, including incorporating serpentine pattern for circuit wires weaved or needed in fabric, and the choice of PCB structure and material determined by circuit complexity and the frequency of bending. Thank you for listening. Please check out our paper for more details.